Hey y'all, this your girl Shay. Back with another video. You guys, um something's been bothering me. Let me turn this phone off. Um I watch a lot of paternity court and uh, I saw one today that really struck me to make this video today. Um, this young man, he's 22 years old. He was trying to find out if the son that was in question, the child that was in question, was his, his child. His mother, the child's mother, and the other possible father's mother said that there was a possibility that the child could not be his. And from looking at the young lady that he was with, that possibility was very strong. Now, in the end, the child did come out to be his. But here's the thing that they said about the relationship. They were very off and on. They were very up and down. Nothing was ever stable. They get in an argument. The female would go off and go cheat with somebody. And she already had one previous child before she met this particular young man. So, you know, it was a lot. And from what the young man said, he said, I, he said, I was a father when I met her son. And he said, and I want to, I want to be there for her and the child. Which is very commendable. Very commendable. Um, because we have a lot of fatherless children in the world that don't have, you know, they we, we got we got we have a lot of kids that do not have a very strong role of a of a male in their life. And it's understandable that he was wanting to do that. It's very commendable. But from what I see not in only in this particular episode um but from all of them and i'm it is going to sound real mean when i say this you can't save everybody you cannot save everybody it's good to want to help out. It's good to want to be there. It's good to want to be a role model. But you cannot save everybody. Sometimes the best thing that you can do for a person is nothing at all. Because once a person sees that you are willing to be there to to extend a hand in whatever situation the case may be they are going to take advantage of that they are going to take advantage of your love and your kindness they're going to take advantage of your grace and your mercy because then they feel like they don't have to they don't have to mature themselves. They don't have to become more, more responsible. They don't have to be more accountable. People who are like this, they want everybody else to pull the weight except for them. They don't want to do what is necessary to keep themselves back from getting back into the hole that they got them in. They are expecting everybody else to do it. That's why a lot of, they don't grow up. I won't say a lot of times, they just don't grow up. They, they don't grow up. They don't grow up. Ain't nothing with a, with a soft place to fall if you're willing to get back up and try and handle your business like you should. There's nothing wrong with that. But what's wrong is when you keep choosing to fall, when you keep choosing to make the wrong decisions, when you keep choosing to do the wrong thing and to think the wrong thing and to say the wrong thing. You keep choosing to do that. 
You keep choosing to do it. And that's where we have to draw the line. We have to draw the line. We can't keep allowing people to step on us and step all over us. We, we can't do that. Like I said, it's a great thing and it's commendable for this young man to want to be there in the life of the older, of the older child. Because this, this child that he that was in question did turn out to be his. But once again, let's say it went the other way. You still can't save her, sir. You can't save her. I'm not trying to be mean, y'all. I'm really not. It's one thing to ask for help. But it's another level when you choose to just relax and sit back and let everybody do for you what you should be doing for yourself. Being a single parent, I, even though I am not a parent, I know it's hard. My mom was a single parent. Even when she was married, she was a single parent. I know it's hard. But you got to make a decision up in your mind. I'm going to break this cycle. And it starts with me. It doesn't start with me and, I, and somebody else. It starts with me. It will not continue on. I'm going to show my child or my children, this is how you do it. This is how you Mature. This is how you grow up. This is how your thinking changes. This is how your perceptions change. It's good for people to say, you know, girl, you need you need some help with these kids. I can watch them for a few hours while you go get groceries or whatever. Ain't nothing wrong with that. But don't take advantage of the kindness. I'm 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 saying it over and over again because I'm I really want y'all to get it. Don't take advantage of the kindness because people don't have to be nice. A lot of times on those on those paternity court episodes, a lot of those dudes was just being nice. I saw she wanted some, needed some help, so I thought I'd lend a hand. Not the way to go, sir. This is how you get sucked into the drama. And you got to learn how to gauge a situation. You got to learn how to how to look at a situation and dissect it and say, okay, God, if I am to do anything, what am I to do? How long do I do it? If I'm am if I'm to do anything at all, Lord, what am I to do? Because you got to see God's face when you're doing these kinds of things. You got to seek his help and seek his, his assistance on anything and everything that pertains to your life. Because if you don't, you're going to end up in a trap, just like I said. You're going to end up in a trap. We see it on Instagram. We see it on Facebook. We see it on Twitter. We see it on YouTube. We see it everywhere. Trying to help a person. Trying to get them to where they need to go. And you the one end up not only with a baby, but also in jail. You out of a job. You ain't got no money. You broke. Because you trying to help everybody else. Sweetie, it's got to stop. It's got to stop. Y'all, we can love one another by, you know, also showing tough love. We got to learn how to do that and do it right. Because you want people to be mature. You want people to be responsible. I heard Miguel Nunez say he used to be on. Um, and for those of you, those of you who don't know who Miguel Nunez is, he's an actor. Um, um, he played on a lot of sitcoms, did a couple of movies. He was in life. He was the gay guy. He was a gay prisoner in the movie Life with um, Eddie Murphy and 
Martin Lawrence. And he kid he ran away because he was he was supposed to go home. But he didn't want his mama to see him like that. So in, instead of waiting for his his release date, he chose to make an attempt to run away and let the guards kill him. Yeah. But he he did say um they were interviewing him on a show years ago on BET. He said, welfare is good, but when you try to make a lifestyle out of welfare, that's where you mess up. And I believe that. When you try to make a lifestyle out of trying to help people that essentially do not want your help, they well they well they just want to use you. Bad idea. Bad idea. You end up in a hole yourself. Then you become a beggar. It sucks to hear, but it's the truth. Ain't nothing wrong with somebody helping you out. I'm going to keep saying that. Because it's the truth. Ain't nothing wrong with somebody blessing you. But learn how to be the blesser as well. Learn how to be the lender as well. Learn maturity. Learn responsibility. Learn it, y'all. It's not a bad thing. It's a good thing. Responsibility and accountability is a good thing. It means that you can do things yourself. It means that even if if you don't have to, if even when you're in a group, you can still function. You can still you can add to the pot. You can toss around ideas. You can suggest changes. But don't let people run over you. My heart broke for that young man and every young man that's been on that paternity court show. Every young man that was trying to do the right thing. Trying to be there. But they were in the midst of trying to save somebody. Don't get caught out there. Learn to leave people where they are so they can grow. Learn to leave them right where they at. Because as long as you trying to fix it for them, trying to uh, rearrange it, turn it around for them, they won't grow up. Learn how to let people grow up. Learn how to let people grow up, y'all. Don't get used. Don't be a doormat. You better than that. God created you to be better than that. I love you guys. And welcome to all my new subscribers. I love y'all. I hope this video blesses you. Please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, okay? I'll see y'all next time. Bye.